Hi friends, it's Queen Alita and I'm back today with a prophetic message from the Lord. This one is based on a dream that I had on June 11th, 2023. So um, probably about a week ago, I think, yeah, a few days ago. Um, so I just want to welcome you back to the channel. And if you are new, welcome. It's important to note, this is a quick disclaimer for those of you who are new specifically. It's important to note that not every prophetic message is meant for you. So if you're listening and you really believe it's for you, it resonates in your spirit and you want to run with it, please just take it before the Lord. Ask him to confirm what season you're in, where you are, you know, what he's doing in your life. This may not be for you um, at this time. Um, so just make sure that you have that relationship with him and that he confirms the word for you. I know that for some of you, this is confirmation of something God has been speaking to you about, which is awesome. But if you have any questions, I encourage you to take them back to him. Make sure you have that ongoing relationship with him, that you're able to hear from him for yourself, um, because that's the most important relationship that you'll ever have. Okay. So like I said, I had this dream on June 11th and in this dream, I was um, on a, in an airplane, but it was kind of stationed like at a, it, it had stopped like at a bus stop, if I can put it that way. So, um, but I knew it was a plane and it was a large one at that, like really, really big, um, lots of seating, uh, just a really large aircraft. And I was, I wasn't seated yet. I had like this tablet and, um, I knew that I needed to book my seat, but I was taking my time. I was just slacking for some reason, just kind of like, you know, thinking I had all day and I really didn't because the seats were starting to fill up quickly. And I knew that I had to book my seat, right? It was actually two seats that I had to book. So I quickly did it. And so, like I said, there were two seats that I had to book. Um, and in the dream, I knew that this was going to be the first plane and there was going to be a second plane that I was going to catch. So in the first plane, the seat that I chose was an aisle seat. And in the second plane, I chose a window seat. And I remember just in, <laughs> in that moment realizing that um, I wasn't sure which seat I preferred. When I thought of the aisle seat, I thought, okay, good easy access to go to the bathroom if I need to, I won't need to be, you know, moving past people. I'll, I'll just, you know, be in and out of my seat. Um, but it's not exactly the most uh, private or cozy space, right? And then the window seat, when I was thinking about it, it's more private, it's more cozy. And that seat in particular was like on the first row and it was a window seat, like I said, and so there was more leg room. <laughs> so um, I remember thinking, yeah, no, but that's a better seat because, you know, I'm at the window and, you know, I'm, I, you know, I can be all cozy in the corner there by myself, plus the leg room. And um, so, so I just kept going back and forth, just thinking of the pros and cons of the two seats that I had picked. Then the plane moved forward. It's just started to like taxi forward to the next station and more people started to come on because seats were filling up quickly. But the sense I got was that other people didn't get the opportunity to choose a seat. They were getting on and they would pick whatever seat was available. And I had the sense that not everybody would get on, right? So that was the dream. So the Lord brought me back to the stream today, obviously, and I'm going to pull up my notes. So let me quickly do that. Um, so this dream has something to do with ministry, right? It has to do with your part in this. Um, it's like this movement that's going to happen that the Lord is preparing to do. Okay, so it has to do with the body of Christ. This That plane in the dream represents a movement of the Lord, a large ministry movement, but it is um, of the kingdom of heaven. And, um, and sometimes planes in a dream actually refer to an actual trip uh, that you may be taking. But in this particular dream, it has to do with a large move of the Lord, a large ministry. But it's, it's a movement because planes move and they take off. And what God is telling us today is that this ministry is about to take off. That you, whoever this word is for, that you have 
almost like God has given you a certain privilege where you get to secure your spot. You're already in it. You've, you've made it, right? You're already part of this movement because I'm on the plane in the dream. So you're part of the movement, but there's a certain role there. Are, this is, uh, there's, yeah, there are two parts to this, right? There are two roles that you'll be playing and there has to be some agreement from you with the Lord in taking up those roles. So I had to actively book the seats. So I believe that the Lord is showing us that there's an active part that we need to play to say, yes, I will take this position. And yes, I will take this other position. So this movement is going to move in two parts. There's going to be two parts to it. And you will have two different positions as um, it progresses. So the aisle seat position, I'm sorry for my background glitching like that um please bear with me but the aisle seat position has got certain pros and cons just like the window seat position right but the window seat position had an extra pro which was the extra leg room so it's almost like you progress as you move forward as you move from one position to the next there's going to be some kind of promotion some kind of extra perk right um but the the two positions are opposite each other it's almost like they 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 have um they're kind of juxtaposed but they're all part of the movement but it's like you get to experience the, the one role and its perks and then you get to experience the other role and its perks plus the added perk in the second role right so as you so, so the Lord is basically saying to you that you are in a privileged position because you get to choose. You get to uh, choose which position you'll go into first and you are given the um, the privilege of being able to do that. Other people won't. Other people have to come and fill up the space. But if you um, tarry, you're just dilly-dallying, not getting to the point, not getting to it, the positions are going to start being filled up and you may find yourself in a position where you don't get to choose where you'll be assigned a seat if that makes sense because you're already part of this movement but the lord if you don't hurry and take your space you will be assigned a space so the lord is giving you the opportunity to choose right to come into agreement with him and say okay this is the one that i want to say yes you know lord yes to what the lord is presenting to you right and to make that choice so um, just quickly going back to my notes to make sure I haven't left anything out. Uh, the key thing here is that there's work to be done, right? And this ministry is ready to take off. You know, just when in, in the dream, when the plane moved from the first station to the next one, I had the sense of, okay, we're taking off after this, like things were about to get moving. So this ministry is ready to take off just like the plane in the dream. Uh, the plane in the dream, sorry. <laughs> so um, the Lord wants you to be prepared. Well, he's already prepared you. You are already where you're supposed to be, right? And this really is about advancing the kingdom of God. This is what this ministry is about. This is a ministry that is a collective effort. It's not about our own personal agendas, our own personal desires. This is for those of you that understand what work needs to be done right now, which is why you're getting on the plane, right? This is why so many understand that there's certain work that is, is that needs to get going because things are happening fast. We're in the, the final days. Things are happening quickly and the movement of the Lord is going to take place as well. God has been showing me this for years now, different dreams that I have shared here on the platform of this large move of God, this large movement, this ministry that is going to be composed of the body of Christ globally, but people that God has been raising up, people that really are, are sold out completely, you know, um, I don't want to bash anybody, but the church has really become watered down and the Lord has had to build a new church. He's had to groom people and groom in a positive co connotation, please, not, not in a negative sense, but he's had to groom his people to take on the roles that others failed, failed to fulfill. 
So your purpose is to finish the work that was started, but to finish strong. A lot of people in, um, in the church started off with the right heart, but they lost their way. And so God has had to raise up a whole new generation who is going to be faithful. So you've, you've been severely refined, like it's been intense and you've had to, um, go through the process of really understanding your identity in Christ. Um, you've, you've been put in positions where so much has been taken and stripped from you, from your life, because the Lord wants you to be able to stand on your own, to not have to rely on anybody but him, to trust him when days are dark, because the word says that we must be able to stand in the evil day. This is the evil day. We are here. It is upon us. And if you haven't been refined, you won't be able to stand. If you haven't been put through um, the, the hardest of fires in this time, you won't be able to stand because you will easily find comfort in things that are not going to help advance the kingdom of God. So the Lord has been refining you. A lot of you in private, in secret, people won't see you coming. You're going to come up in places just like that, popping up everywhere globally. And this is going to be the move of God. This is going to be about advancing the kingdom of God. Okay. The scripture that the Lord gave me today is um, Mark 1. 1 verse 15 and it reads as follows the time has come he said the kingdom of god has come near repent and believe the good news the great commission is upon us we need to be going out there and fulfilling this great commission that christ left us with you find the great commission in matthew chapter 28 the end towards the end of chapter 28 i think it is um but yeah this is the, the this is not something small this is not for the faint-hearted god has had to strengthen you and thicken your skin so that you can handle what's coming because it is going to be intense you you will need to be able to stand in the evil day you, you'll need to be able to stand against the forces of evil against the powers against the principalities right and know who your enemy is don't go into these things fighting with people fighting with flesh and blood that's not going to help you i put a post out yesterday the lord had put that scripture on my heart and he put it on my heart to you know um call people to pray but i'm gonna do another video on that um with more details because the lord has really been uh downloading a lot to, to me and it's it's very overwhelming so i just need some time to process it all and you know be able to share it with you guys but yeah that's that's gonna come up um as soon as possible because i feel it's very urgent um so that's the word for today i pray that it's blessed whoever it's for i will see you in the next video always remember that god is a good father he loves you so much because you my friends are so deeply special to him